Hey everyone, this is Toy Ninja from ToyGander.com, and today we're going to be uh, looking at and reviewing some Deadpool Lego, or, <clears throat> or uh, excuse me, non Lego custom figures. So let's jump right in and let's take a gander. So to tell you guys first off, I got these from uh, Alibaba and I was a little bit worried, a little bit hesitant. I've seen some reviews online and I was uh, skeptical to see exactly what I would get. So I got a lot of different ones and I was going to find out exactly if the quality was up to it and if they just they look good. So this first one, I don't know, it says S, S World Figures or something like that. I'd say this first one the, this is probably the best detail. If you look at this, the, all the the coloring and the ink on there is really bright. They did a nice job on re replicating it. And the face, face is real bright. All, everything's very vibrant about this. I don't think this one came with any guns. Uh, not that that's a huge deal, but uh, this one, as far as the cleanliness of it, this looked the best. I think one of the swords, though, like some of these are a little bit weird. Now, this actually looks pretty good. But uh, one of these swords is a little flimsy, like it just came out of the mold wrong. And these fit kind of tight in the back of this one. Some of them are a little bit loose. So this one specifically is a little tight. You can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it's a little bit wonky. But uh, overall, this one's really good quality. This one's very close to this S-World one. A couple differences that I noticed is for the eyes it goes up higher on this one. I kind of prefer this one, but um, this goes up a little bit higher. It also has a brown holder for the for the uh, swords. He did come with uh, weapons, but <clears throat> if you can compare these two, like look at the little holster on the foot here. This one's much more vibrant. And just the overall coloration on this one seems a little bit better. Uh, although this one's still pretty good. It came with guns, that's kind of a bonus, but um, the the just the print on this one seems better. So this is the X-Force version. Came with slightly different weapons in his hand. Overall same like body type, he still has the uh, the weapons here. Now this one I noticed was very loose, like this just flops right out. So to give you an idea, they're not perfect, like these are not Lego quality, but overall, I mean, if you're looking for some cheap um, Deadpool Lego characters or any of the, the superhero ones, they're actually not too bad. Now, a couple things I did notice on this one, besides the dust, it's got a little bit of, uh, I don't know if you can see that on there. Let's see if I can get in there. But um, there's like some ink smears on the bottom. The printing's actually not too bad overall, though. I'm, I don't prefer this Deadpool. I actually like the red ones better. But uh, I figured, hey, it came in one of the packs, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll go with it anyway. And head comes off pretty easy. This comes off. Here's the back, back print on this. Not too bad. Overall, pretty decent. Got some side prints on here, too. That's pretty cool. Same thing on that side. So this one, <clears throat> I'd have to say, is probably my favorite. If you look at this guy, there's just a lot of cool print on here. Now, out of all of them, this probably has the weakest as far as how vibrant the print is. The print is very, sh it's, it's not quite as thick. Like you can kind of tell on the feet, if I can zoom in here. You can see all the dust there, but yeah, like the corners on the feet, and it's like rubbed off a little bit. But uh, there's a lot of cool things happening here, and I'll take his guns off so you guys can see a little bit more of the detail on them. But I was really impressed with this, and I saw that he's got kind of that cockeyed look, and I thought that was really cool. And the, again, the print is not perfect on the eyes. It's just a little bit dull, but uh, overall just is the details and in intricacies that he has on this one is, is pretty cool. Take off the back. Back print on this guy. And one other thing that I did notice with some of them, this one might not be a, uh, a problem. 
yeah, so like, you look at that, that's just kind of sad. Like, I don't know why they would do that, and obviously Lego has a proprietary, you know, brand, but, you know, this is kind of lame. If you keep it on, you won't be able to notice, and it does fit pretty snugly, um, so you don't have to worry about it. Another thing, in some of them, and I don't know if you can see, a little bit of space in between the two, you just kind of push them down, they're fine, but eh, it still comes right back. But um, again, you're not buying Lego here, so you kind of have to deal with what you what you got there. Put this head back on. Now, if you guys saw the movie yet, uh, I definitely would recommend seeing it. Only if you're 17 or 18, uh, it's it's not anything like any other superhero movie that's been out. Not appropriate for kids at all. But it's a really cool movie. They did it very well. I was a little bit worried in uh, how they were going to pull it off, but. They definitely pulled off the movie very well. Ryan Reynolds is uh, is a perfect Deadpool. Now, so this isn't uh, this isn't Deadpool. This is Deathstroke. And for those guys who uh, don't know, Deadpool was a direct ripoff of Deathstroke. And his name is um, his name is Slade Wilson. In real life, his name they named him Wade Wilson. It was a total ripoff on purpose. Uh, Deadpool ended up being cooler, but uh, still. I thought this one was awesome. Uh, this one cost a little bit more. It was like a dollar, maybe. The other ones were under, it was like 50 cents. But um, this, it, they were definitely worth it. Like, I, I really like this guy as far as, you now separating him from all these, this is the best print out of, out, of, uh, out of all of them. Really detailed character here. You can kind of see his mask. His mask is is really well done and if you look at the the holder for his gun it's really tight just fits very well I don't know let me see what this looks like yeah see that's the only thing I don't like I think the the brand that does this is called the cool um, I think that's the brand name I don't know for sure because they don't come they don't tell you right off the bat but um, that's a little bit disappointing but other than that this guy was very well done oh he has back print too on his head that's pretty cool take off this too pretty good detail on his back okay guys so some of the pluses what I would say is they're they're a great deal for how much you're paying 50 cents to a dollar I mean it's a it's a steal honestly for what you're getting here uh, so the downside some of the cons is that you are going to um, you're not going to get the same quality as far as the paint job um, you're also, when you place the order, you're going to expect to wait about 30 days to 45 days on some of them uh, before you see it at the door. And on top of that, some of it might not even get through customs. You know, it really depends on the day or the, the person that's dealing with it there. Um, so that's some of the downside. My overall score for these things are probably, yeah, I'd probably rate them about an 8 out of 10. Um, definitely worth it, in my opinion. Uh, some great figures, uh, some custom figures that LEGO doesn't make. Uh, so I, I would definitely say that they're worth it. If you guys have any questions on any specific sellers that I dealt with that I got um, some of the figures from, uh, I'll, just ask me in the comments and I'll, I'll send them to you. Uh, there's certain sellers that I got them from Alibaba that actually sent them really quick and were great to deal with. So just ask me in the comments if you have any questions. All right, guys, so that's what we have for today. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe. Also, please click that thumbs up button. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, so until next time, you can help us take a gander.